This selection of images of living human embryos conceived by IVF in Norfolk, Virginia and New York City was recorded over many years by Lucinda Vick, Nikitsa Zaninovich and myself. Lucinda took the first photo of an embryo that became a living person, namely Elizabeth Carr, born in 1981. She used celluloid film before digital cameras. She published human embryology colour atlases needed by the emerging clinical embryology profession in the early days of IVF. Beautiful pictures of embryos started to grace covers and contents of books, describing the latest advances in molecular development. The next stage of imaging technology was dynamic. From 2004, we used a camera for taking time-lapse recordings on an inverted microscope. Embryos were photographed in a culture chamber in droplets of medium at the optimal temperature and gas mixture. They were exposed to light only when the shutter opened at fixed intervals for image files to be processed on a computer. This is a fertilized egg with two pronuclei preparing for the first cleavage division. Twelve hours later, two slightly asynchronous cleavages make four cells, and so on. Cytoplasmic fragments may form, but aren't necessarily unhealthy, and this embryo forms a perfect blastocyst. Time-lapse reveals blastocysts cyclically expanding and contracting, like beating hearts before hatching. In 2009, commercial equipment became available for clinical labs to monitor multiple embryos simultaneously in tiny wells under stable conditions. They developed to the blastocyst stage in four to five days. Embryologists analyzed time-lapse recordings to select healthy embryos for transfer they hope will implant. These images are now being analysed by artificial intelligence to make even better decisions.